And this is what we sound like on a headset microphone with all of these audio filters that we've added. It was super quick, super easy, just as I promised you. When I first started Twitch streaming, all I had was a headset and some gaming skills. Well, <laughs> Okay, maybe all I had was just a headset, and this is pretty much what it sounded like, but after some research, I realized that I could make this headset sound professional, maybe even compete with a USB microphone. Well, let's see how to do that and how it comes out. So to get your headset mic sounding professional, bassy, and even clear, all you gotta do is head on over into your OBS. I'm using slobs, but OBS should be the same in terms of adding some audio filters. So what we're gonna do is add some specific ones that are gonna reduce the noise, but also expand our voice so that we're soft, but also compress it so that we're not too loud. That way we have a nice level of audio waves throughout the Twitch stream, throughout the videos, and whatever else you're doing. In your OBS, find your mixer or your audio settings, and then click on your cogwheel, and then go to your filters. I've already pre-applied these so that I can make this video as short as possible so that all you have to do is legit copy them. So for the first one that we're going to add is we're going to add the expander. Now you look at this OBS and you already see this as layers. Whatever's at the bottom will be overwritten by the top, etc, etc. So the first preset that we're going to be adding is the expander. Now to add an expander, all you gotta do is click on the plus icon and inside here, all you gotta do is type it out and eventually it'll come up and then you select it and you press done. And then it's gonna come up over here with all of these settings. Within these settings, all I want you to do is to copy my exact settings and then afterwards, tweak them to your own headset. So for your presets, it's obviously set to expander, your ratio 2.3, threshold 20, minus 25.4, attack two, release 100 and your output gain I've kept it on zero detection is RMS so cool I'm going to activate it and as this is as each day is activated you'll begin to hear the difference that it makes the next filter that we're going to be adding is the compressor so again you click on the plus icon type of compressor and add it so for compressor these are the settings we're going to be using we're going to have four and for threshold we're going to minus 26 for attack we're going to have two and for release we're going to have 100 output gain 30 and we're going to enable that. Now the compressor will make sure that our audio levels as seen over here isn't going to go into the red zone and it'll keep it basically compressed below. So it's great to work hand in hand with the expander and the compressor because the expander will push your, will raise your voice levels and the compressor will keep it at a low enough so that it's not blowing out people's eardrums. The next one we're going to add is a noise suppression. This is great because headset mics can kind of feel a bit stuffy, you can catch a lot of sounds. And so this is basically filter out those unnecessary sounds and bassiness and yeah, all of those. So this is what I've set mine to. I've got my method at speed X low city usage and on minus 13. Now for this next plugin, it's a Marvel GEQ. Now this is gonna be a downloadable plugin that you can add. And so all you gotta do is head on over to the website that I'll link down in the description, download it and run the installation. And once it's installed, all you gotta do is quit OBS, relaunch it, and then add in this VST plugin through here. And then once you've got it installed and you click over here, you will see it just like this. So once it's installed, just make sure to select Marvel GEQ. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on open plugin interface. Once that's open, it's gonna show up on your screen like this but it'll actually be set to the default. So it's gonna look a lot like this. Now what I do is I come over here to presets and I select bright and bassy and I click activate. So basically the higher the left side is, the more bassy you're gonna be. If you have a bit of a squeaky voice, you play around with the left side. If you have a, if you maybe want to sound, I don't know, a bit more manly, you can like play around here with these settings. And then to close this, you just click on the close plug interface. I'm gonna enable it now and hopefully we see a difference. And this is what we sound like on a headset microphone with all of these audio filters that we've added. It was super quick, super easy, just as I promised you. And man, I'm pretty sure we sounding banging. I'm pretty sure we sound like a professional here. And I don't know if this is maybe gonna be able to compete with the USB microphone. Hopefully it does. And I'm pretty sure you're gonna be sounding amazing as well with your headset microphone. So yeah, also, 
since you're now sounding more professional, more clear, more bassy, and even more amazing, why not hit that like button and subscribe button, even maybe tap the notification bell so that you know when a new video is coming out that's gonna add value to you, help you go on Twitch, help you go on YouTube, and just all around continue to add value to your life. You don't wanna miss out on anything that's coming up. So I'll see you guys in the next video and peace.